Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm going to show you hair, makeup, two outfit ideas, and also some DIY cards for Valentine's Day. So just stay tuned and I hope you like it. I'm going to start off by priming my skin and lips and first for my skin, I'm going to be using the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer and I just applied the tiniest bit of this to my fingers and then put in this evenly all over my skin. For my lips, I'm just going to be putting some lip balm on and this is the EOS lip balm. And this is the mint one and it just tastes so good. Now I'm just going to be using some foundation to even out my skin. And this is the CoverGirl Naturelux foundation. I'm absolutely in love with this foundation. You already know because I talk about it quite often. But I'm going to be applying it with the e.l.f. powder brush. concealer at the moment is the Smashbox High Definition Concealer and I have mine in a super super light shade so it would really lighten up my under eyes. Now I'm just going to be setting everything with some powder and this is the Nearly Naked Powder from Revlon and this has a very very nice finish so I'm absolutely in love with it. And to put this on my skin, I'm just using the same brush I used for my foundation. And this brush is so good for so many things and it just gives a flawless finish. I'm absolutely in love with it. I'm going to start off with my eyebrows and just set them with some clear mascara. This is the Great Lash Mascara in clear. And yeah, I just love doing this so my eyebrows are very nice and defined. For my eyes, because I want this look to be very nice and shiny, I'm going to be using the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion in Sin. And this is a very nice light champagne color and it just looks absolutely beautiful. For my eyeshadows today, I chose the Comfort Zone palette from Wet n Wild and this thing is just amazing it's like five bucks and it has the most beautiful and most pigmented eyeshadows ever and so for the eyelids we're going to be using this top color that says brow bone on it it's very very shiny and it's just going to look absolutely beautiful and with a flat brush i'm just tapping this onto my eyelids next taking that eyeshadow marked crease over here with a crease brush, I'm going to be applying this to my outer corner. For my crease, I want something a little bit more matte, so I'm going to be using this dark brown eyeshadow in the shade Fishnets from Benefit. that in love look I want I'm actually going to be using a blush inside my crease as well this is the doll face blush from the Amazonian clay collection that Tarte has and this color is absolutely beautiful I'm just going to be using a blending brush with this color and putting this inside my crease on top of the brown look off I'm just going to be using something to brighten up my inner corners and I'm using this MAC mineralized skin finish natural and definitely the fine and I'm just going to be using the very shiny light part over here and taking it on a tiny brush I'm going to be applying this directly in my inner corner can you tell how much it opened my eyes I just absolutely love doing this it gives the entire look a different effect and it's just absolutely beautiful. 
I'm just going to finish off with some mascara and eyeliner and I'm using a gel liner from Maybelline and then for mascara I'm using this one from Urban Decay it's the super curl curly mascara and it's absolutely beautiful at separating the lashes so that's why I really love it start by contouring it and my favorite is as you know the Bahama Mama bronzer from the balm I'm in love with it it's like the perfect brown color but something terrible happened <sighs> bro so yeah I'm going to fix it at some point but right now I'm being really lazy so I'm going to use it as is For blush and highlighting, I'm just going to use the same products I used before, which is the Doll Face Blush and MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural in Definitely Define. To keep with the whole natural theme of the makeup, I'm going to be also using a natural lipstick. This is the MAC Lipstick in Cream Cup. But to give it that extra boom that you want on Valentine's Day because you want to be getting those kisses. I'm going to be using a lip liner beforehand to just make them look a little fuller. And this one is from NYX and it's in the shade Natural. Using a lip liner first on your lips is also going to make the lipstick last a lot longer. That is absolutely it for the makeup. I love how it's neutral but it does look a little bit fancier than what you would wear every day. And now let's move on to the hair. I'm going to start off by spraying some heat protector in my hair. And this is the Got To Be Guardian Angel Flat Iron Balm. So yeah, that's good. I'm going to spray this evenly through my hair. And then taking some bobby pins, I'm going to pin my hair to this side. So I'm just taking my hair and pinning it back because I want my waves to fall on this side. Now taking my flat iron because I don't have a curler but if you do, use a curler, use a curling wand, whatever you want but I'm just going to be taking my flat iron because it has this like curly sides that you can use to curl as well. It's from Babyliss. And I'm just going to be curling this side of my head. Now just take your favorite hairspray. This is just the L'Oreal El Net Satin Hairspray. And just hold your hair up and spray it. And that's absolutely it for the hair. Now I'm going to be showing you two outfits that I picked out for this day. One is a little bit more casual, depends on where you go, like if you go on just a regular date, something like that. And then the other one is a little fancier if you go out like really big, really celebrate Valentine's Day. So let's get on to it. Outfit, it's a little bit more casual, but it's still fancy enough for the occasion of going out on Valentine's Day. So for the shirt, I'm just wearing this regular sweater. It's very neutral, so it doesn't overwhelm or anything. And it goes really nice with the makeup. And it's from Forever 21. For the skirt, I'm just wearing this very simple one from H&M. It's very basic and black and sort of tight, so it goes really nice with the looser top. And then for shoes, I'm wearing these ones from Aldo. And they're really, really high. But they look really really nice so I'm in love with them and they go really nice with the entire outfit. And then for jewelry I'm just wearing this necklace that's really nice. It has sort of a punch. I don't know, I just really like it. It's from Forever 21. And then I'm wearing a very simple ring 
This one is from Magnolia. It's real silver, so you can wear anything you want, but I really, really like this one. And then from the same store, I also have this really, really nice bracelet. It's super delicate, and I think it looks perfect with this outfit. That's the first outfit. I really like this one and again, if you're not going anywhere too fancy, I think this will look perfect. For nail polish, I'm just wearing a very, very light pink color. I think it looks beautiful because it's very simple, but it's also classic. It's endless. It's, you know, it will look good on anybody. So I really like this one. It's from Jade in the shade Rose Breath and it just looks really nice and chic and clean. So. I think it looks really nice with the whole look. For the fancier outfit, I chose a dress that I love on me. The whole point of this is that you choose your own dress that looks good on your body type. Like, if you're super skinny, wear something that really shows that. And if you have a little bit more curves like me, then show something that looks a little better on you. And I chose this black dress that I absolutely love from Castro. I love this, it looks beautiful. And I love the whole detailing over here because I'm just in love with the whole like 1800 vibe and this totally has that so I just chose this dress and nothing else on this. I want it to look really nice and clean and simple and then for shoes I'm just wearing these super cute heels from Aldo and I just love these. So for jewelry I'm wearing this necklace which is really really tiny and it just has five beads on it that are gold and the chain itself is silver, so it has a little bit of color blocking in it. I don't know, I just love it. And it's from the same store I talked about before, Magnolia. And I'm wearing the same bracelet from there as well. But for my ring this time, I chose this one from a Israeli designer. Her name is Michal Negrin. It just looks really, really pretty and I love it. And again, it has that 18th century vibe, so it goes really nice with the dress. And then for nail polish, it's the same pink one I wore before. For the DIY portion of this video, which is basically just Valentine's Day cards, I got pastel colored papers. These are just like thicker papers, so they would be perfect as cards. I also got some ribbons. I got like the regular type and then some like fabric type. So these are really, really pretty. I also got really pretty papers. These are just, I don't know, really, really pretty. I really don't know how to describe these, but they have these in any like craft store, I'm sure. And then I also got some stickers, and these have a lot of hearts, and then they say love and forever and all those kind of things. So these are really, really cute. And then lastly, I also have some scissors and something to write with in the cards. For the first card, what I'm going to do is just take my paper and fold it in half. Next, I'm taking this paper, which is the hearts one. I'm going to measure it so it will fit inside, but still have a frame around it. The next step will be to just glue it down. On the inside, I'm just going to write Happy Valentine's Day. And lastly, I'm just going to add some stickers. This is the outside. Here you can write the name of whoever you're giving this to. And then on the inside, it just says Happy Valentine's Day. And you can always add something more personalized, like um, like a heartfelt letter you know, on Valentine's Day. But this is just the idea. For the next card, I'm going to start again by folding it in half. But this time, my card will open this way. Now I'm taking my red ribbon and just tying a bow. And then I'm going to trim the axis. And then just glue it on the side. I also recommend gluing the ends. Next, just write whatever you want. In 
side you can write whatever you want, but this is the second card. For the third and last card, I'm going to start by folding it again and choosing one of the pretty papers. I chose this one because it's very colorful and pretty. But what I'm going to do next is just cut out the heart. I'm just going to make a line going all around and then of course I'm going to glue it down. And now I'm going to go over the heart's edges. a little piece of ribbon and tie another bow and then I'm going to glue it right here in the middle of the ribbon I put before and that's the third and final card so that was absolutely it for this video I really really hope you guys like the makeup and the hair and the DIY Valentine's Day cards and that you have a wonderful wonderful Valentine's Day and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Love you guys. Happy Valentine's Day.